my name is Angela, and today we are talking about choking. We all know that choking can be very dangerous, especially in children. That's why it is important to know what to do in case someone is choking. Signs and symptoms of choking include struggling to breathe, gasping, coughing, gagging, and bluish lips or skin. Older individuals may grasp their throat with one or both hands. This is the universal sign for choking. Encourage the victim to cough. If the airway is only partially blocked, he may be able to clear his airway himself by coughing or gagging. If the airway is completely blocked, then you will need to intervene. Start by delivering what we call back blows. Stand behind the person and slightly off to one side. Support their chest with one hand while angling them down slightly to allow the object to come out of their mouth rather than move further down the airway. Then give up to five sharp blows between the person's shoulder blades with your hand. If the object remains lodged, you can attempt a abdominal thrust, better known as the Heimlich Maneuver. Stand behind the person who is choking. Put your arms around their waist and bend them forward. Clench one fist and place it right above their belly button. Put the other hand on top of your fist and pull sharply inward and upward. Repeat this movement up to five times. If the person is still choking, call 911 and stay with them until help arrives. In an emergency, don't panic. Help if you can. But always know you can always count on the emergency team at Fort Walton Beach Medical Center.